Hello everyone and welcome back to Feature Highlights on Pipso TV channel. My name is Sinisha and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to use social login and invitations for WordPress. This plugin allows you to create accounts on WordPress site by using existing social network accounts. So, if you already have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or other supported social media, you can actually use that account to connect to your WordPress website. So let me show you how that's done. Social login and the invitations plugin can be used as a standalone plugin on your WordPress, which means it does not require Pipso to work. So if you want to use it without using Pipso, you can, and you can purchase the license by going to sociallogin.wp.com website, then switch to the pricing tab, and you will find the licenses here. However, if you already have the Pipso Ultimate Bundle, this plugin is given to you within the bundle. So go to the WordPress admin dashboard, then switch to Pipso Installer, wait for your license to be checked, scroll down until you find Social Login and Invitations plugin, click on Install, Wait for the installer to download and install the package. And once, once it's installed, click on Activate. Make sure the plugin is activated. Once plugin is installed and activated, we need to configure a few more additional settings. So go back to dashboard in order to see this notice over here. It says that we need to configure Pipso integration. So we are going to do just that because we want to use social login with Pipso, not as a standalone. So click here and enable Pipso integration. Leave all of these options by the, uh, as they are for now, I will cover them soon. So let's save it. And now the social login is integrated with Pipso. So whenever you enable the provider, so let's enable Amazon, Apple, and Bitbucket. Save the settings. And if we now check the front end as a non logged in user, we will see that new icons are shown in the login forms by Pipso. So Amazon, Apple, and Bitbucket are displayed here. They will obviously not work because we didn't set any configuration for them. But don't worry, I will cover them soon. For now, let's come back to the Pipso tab and map some fields. What is this field mapping? Well, Pipso has the option to configure profile fields. And you can actually map the profile fields from the social media to your Pipso profile fields when they are available. I say when they are available because, for example, I can hide my birth date on Facebook and say that this information will not be available to anyone. So the API will only pick up my first name, last name, and avatar if I said if I say yes, or if I don't want to import avatar, then no. So these fields mapping the fields is heavily influenced by what information is available in the API. So it might not always work, but in most cases, first name, last name, and avatar will actually work. So I'm going to map the first name from the social media to the first name field in my Pipso, last name from the social media to the last name in my Pipso, and birth date from the social media to the birth date on my Pipso website. I'm also going to import avatars. Save the settings. 
and make sure that configuration is saved. Let's come back to the providers and disable Amazon, Apple and Bitbucket that we enabled earlier. And because there is way too many of them, this video will never end. So I'm just going to cover the most popular one being the Facebook and show you how to set up the Facebook login in this video. If you have more questions or you're interested to know how to set up other integrations, for example, Dropbox, you can enable it and these instructions over here, click on show instructions. These instructions over here will guide you step by step how to obtain all the necessary information that you need in order to set up the Dropbox login or Discord, Discord login, show the instructions and there they are. Some of them are most simpler than the others. For example, Amazon is very convoluted. Uh, not Amazon, I think Apple is. So let me see here. Yes, there are plenty of steps to do for the Apple integration. But if you follow these steps exactly as they're written, you should have no problems in setting up any login integration that you want. Alternatively, you can go to the pipso.com slash docs and here in the documentation just search for the login let's say foursquare login and it will show you again step by step how to configure foursquare login in the left hand side, in the sidebar, you will find all the integration covered here as well. So, Facebook login, here's the documentation for it. If you want Instagram or LinkedIn login, it's easy enough as following the documentation. Okay, so let's close this and come back to disable all of our integrations except Facebook. And now we are going to set up the Facebook login integration for my website. Because I record this on my local host, although you see the Pipso TV URL here, I will not be able to actually set up the Facebook integration here because at some point in the in the setup Facebook will say that I have a broken URLs that is because this is the localhost setup although you see this Pipso TV website over here it looks like a real website but it isn't so to mitigate that I am going to switch to actual website that is publicly available in order to set up the Facebook integration. So what we need to do is go to this website over here. It's shown in the instructions and click on create app. I like to choose none for my apps because I like to customize my apps manually. And once I press next, some uh, personal information will be revealed. But this is my spam email, so if you decide to send me email using this address, it will go into the spam. So I probably won't see it, so don't bother. Display name for this application will be Pipso TV. You will be asked to enter your email, obviously. And then create app, enter your Facebook password, comply with it and submit. Your application is almost created. You guessed it, now we need to add Facebook login and set it up. Click on set up, choose the web platform and the URL would be pipso.com.
continue with next 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 and then go to settings in the valid out redirects you need to enter this exact link over here but since we are on subdomain i am going to remove the finish apart and just use pipso.com because facebook login is not really doing well with subdomains if i set it up for the entire domain the subdomains will be included as well okay go back to settings and then basic Give it a namespace. Up domain will be pipso.com. Once again, I will be using it on finisa.pipso.com, but because Facebook login is not working properly with subdomains, you need to use it on the entire domain. Privacy policy will be pipso.com, terms of service pipso.com you will you will obviously want to enter the real privacy policy url here as well as terms of service i'm gonna choose a category of games yeah i like video games subcategories will be role playing and i'm gonna choose the file for uh, for my application which will be shown as an image whenever someone used the Facebook login on my website. Save changes. And then I'm gonna flip this switch in development. And it says, your app won't be able to access and approve permissions or features that require app review. That doesn't matter for us because we don't use unapproved permissions switch mode and my application is now live copy the app id into the id field into the configuration and also we are going to show the secret key and copy that one as well Save the settings, and just like that, our Facebook integration is set up. I have opened the website as a guest user, and as you can see in the login forms, I have connect with Facebook option right now. So let's try to use that one instead of traditionally inserting the username or email and password. So click on connect with Facebook. And because I'm in incognito window, it's asking me to enter my spam email. And use my Facebook password. Log in and now remember the icon we have set and Pipso TV is requesting access to your name and profile picture and email address. You can, as a user, you can edit this access and say, I don't want to give you the email or name and profile picture is required. Continue as me. And now it's asking me, do I already have an account on the, web, on the website? If I already have an account, I can link to my existing account from the website, or I'm just going to say I'm new to our website and create a new account. And just like that, I'm already connected to this website. I can engage in the community, I can add friends, add pictures, and whatever. 
If for some reason you don't like the icon colors used in the login screen, you can change those icon colors over here. So let's say that icon color is going to be red and the background color for the Facebook Connect is going to be black. I like it like that, so let's keep it. And if I refresh this page right now, I have more customization options as well. Before we finish this video, I want to show you one more feature. Go to your WordPress dashboard, then Appearance, Widgets. Select the widget position where you want to publish your widget. In my case, that will be sidebar left. Click on the plus button and search for social invitation. Give the name to the widget and I'm going to link my site into the link field. You will see how that works. I'm going to update this and now when I refresh the page on the front end of my website, I will have a new option here to send the social invitations to my Facebook friends. If I click here and start typing the names of my friends, you will see that I will have all of them available for me to choose and send them the invitation message with the link that we previously set in the configuration. Obviously, I don't want to send any message to anyone on Facebook from this website because this is not a real website. For now, social invitation only works with Facebook. We do have plans to improve it and add email invitations in the future, but that will come later. For now, only Facebook invitation is supported. And with that, I would like to end this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and smash that notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media. And if you need any help with the setting up different integrations, you can find all of those, all of the required settings here in our documentation, or don't hesitate to contact our support. We will be more than happy to assist you in setting each and every one of them. That said, thank you for being with me today and I wish you all the best with your community. Bye.